A very long time ago, in a small village in the Benin Kingdom, there was a damsel by the name Nene who lived with her mother Ienoma and her sister Ekpofi. One day, the Enoge from a neighboring village sent a marriage proposal for Nene, which was accepted by her family. And so, the marriage rites were conducted according to the Benin customs and traditions, after which the Enoge that is, the king of the neighboring village and his procession returned to where they came from. After some days, it was now time for Inene, the new bride, to go to her husband's village. But before Inene could embark on this journey, her mother dressed her up very beautifully, made up her face well, and adorned her with very beautiful and valuable jewelries. Ienoma also gave Inene some instructions and a strict warning never to go anywhere else on the way and that she was not to have any contact with the water from a particular river on the path through which they would journey. And so she embarked on this journey, escorted by her sister Ekpofi and her friend Igbo. On their way to Inene's husband's village, Igbo called Inene aside and told her that she didn't look beautiful enough as a bride. Is this bride. how you are going to look to your husband's house? You are looking really ugly with this makeup of yours. See your face! Igmo told her. So Igmo suggested that they go to a nearby river, the same river Inene's mother had warned her about, to wash her face. Unfortunately, Inene had forgotten all her mother's warning about that river. So she thought about what her friend said and agreed to go and wash her face in hope that she would look beautiful after doing so. While Ekpofi waited for them, they went to the river. On getting to the river, Igbo instructed Inene to pull off all her dress and jewelry, which she did accordingly. But just as Inene was about bending low to scoop some water to wash her face, Igbo pushed her into the river then wore all her dress and jewelry and returned to the roadside where Inene's sister awaited their return. When Ekpofi asked about Inene's whereabouts, Igmo lied to her and told her that Inene had fallen into the river. Ekpofi exclaimed and broke down in tears and wept bitterly. But Igmo silenced her and sternly warned her to stop crying as they must continue on their journey. More so, she was not to tell anyone about what had happened and from that moment onward, she was to be considered the bride instead of Inene. At the palace, just as Igbo was entering, the king saw her and wondered that she was not in any way looking like the damsel he had married. But he couldn't reject her because a king must not reject a bride so presented to him according to the laws of the land. Now the queen in the palace, Igmo turned Inene's sister Ekpofi to her slave who was to run all her errands. So Ekpofi would go and fetch water from the river every day. And anytime she went, she would sing this sad song. <speaking in Spanish> As soon as she finished singing, Inene would swim out of the river in her mammoth form. She would play with her and console her because she knew the hardship she was going through. But then, Nene told her sister not to come and see her again because in a few days' time she would be fully transformed into a fish and the river would finally become her kingdom. Nevertheless, Ekpofi still went to the river the next day and the day after that. And on both days, Nene told her the same things she had told her before. And so it was that the following day, Ekpofi could no longer bear the burden of keeping the secret of what had happened to her sister anymore. So she went to the king and told him everything that had transpired. How Igmo had put Inene into the river, how she had worn her dress and jewelries, 
how she had threatened to kill her if she disclosed what had transpired, and how she had finally declared herself the bride instead of Nene. After the king had heard all that was told, he was greatly surprised and angry at the same time. But then he proceeded on a plan to rescue his real bride. The following day, the king, the priests, and the villagers all followed Ekofi to the river. There, the king ordered her to sing again. And so she sang. And to the amazement of everyone around except Ekofi, a beautiful mummy swam out. Only that this time she was not aware that the whole village was present. She was about to scold her sister for coming again when she realized that they were not alone. But before she could swim back, too late, she was captured and taken back to the village where she was later to be made the bride and queen. When they all got back to the village, some appeasements were made for her while fire was put around her to completely remove the river's water from her body. Soon, she became fully human again and restored to herself. After Inene was restored, she requested to see her friend, Igmo, who was about to escape because she already knew that her evil deed had been exposed. She was brought before the king and the queen, and the king pronounced a judgment on her. Igmo was to be banished into the forest for the rest of her life. The...